Landmark College Library offers citation resources for students. This will be a brief overview of Noodle tools. On the main library page, choose Citation Guides. At the bottom, click on Noodle Tools. Although Noodle Tools is a free resource for students and faculty, you do need to register and create a free account. Simply enter the required information and make sure to use your landmark email. Then click Register. Once you've registered, you will be able to go to a landing page for all projects. Let's start a new project. Let's do one on civil rights. You can choose the citation style, APA, MLA, or Chicago. In this case, the professor has requested MLA. And also the citation level from starter to advanced. Starter is usually adequate for most projects. Click Submit. We now have a project with no sources used, no note cards, or attachments. On the far right, you'll see three dots. These dots let you rename the project, change the citation style or level of citation, or delete the project completely. To get into the project, simply click on the title. Now that we have a project started, let's find a source. We'll choose from one of the library databases. And since we're just starting the project, let's go for a reference source. Reference sources can be a wonderful resource and place to start when you're just beginning your research. On the main library page, click on Books, Video, and Audio. Then choose Encyclopedias. Encyclopedias are wonderful for background information. Although we have many different types of encyclopedias, we're going to choose the general category and then choose Gale eBooks. Gale eBooks has 66 encyclopedias in one. And we'll put in the term civil rights. It came up with a number of different encyclopedias, all with entries on civil rights, from U.S. economic history to African American culture and history, and others. I'm going to look at the entry in the African American Culture and History Encyclopedia. It's a topic overview, so it should give you a broad introduction to the topic as well as the main individuals involved, and it's eight pages long. Another good aspect of using a library resource like the Encyclopedia databases is that often they give you the citation. So click on Cite, and we're using MLA, and we're going to copy the citation into our Noodle Tools. In Noodle Tools, if you haven't been given a pre-formatted citation, you simply go back and forth between your source, and you put in the name of the database, which would be Gale eBooks, the URL, the article entry, which would be U.S. Civil Rights, and continue to fill out the various roles and aspects to the page. At the bottom, you will also see a notation that says Annotation. Some professors do ask that students annotate each of their sources. An annotation is simply a critical analysis of the source and why it's appropriate for your project. Usually an annotation is anywhere between three and six sentences long. Not all professors will require an annotation, so check with your professor or review your assignment. In our case, we do actually have the citation, so we can use the Quick Cite feature. So automated citations are very convenient, but they do sometimes have small errors in them, and this does review the fact that it can have small errors and you do need to make sure that the errors are reviewed and fixed. 
So we've now copied and pasted the citation. We've reviewed it for errors, and now we'll click Save. So there's our citation, and now let's start taking notes on the actual citation. So click on Note Cards, New Note Card, and you'll see the note card is divided up into three pieces, direct quotations, paraphrases or summaries, and my ideas. So going back into our source, I start to read the source, and I see an interesting statistic. So I'm going to copy that statistic right into my Noodle Tools, because it looks pertinent. So this is a direct quotation, and as such, I want to make sure I put quotation marks around it immediately to remember that it's a quotation and that I didn't think of it myself. I also list the page, which is 471, and the source. And I'm going to give the note card a title. So I'm going to call it Statistic. So I have the note card. It is completed. I've put quotation marks, and now I'm going to save it. So now if I go back to my project, I will see that I have one source and one note card for that particular project. If you have any questions about how to use Noodle Tools, please don't hesitate to contact the Library Front Desk.